Yo, what's up guys? It's Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about how to find Instagram influencers that win and that'll make you money. All right guys, so before we get into it, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and throw me a like and let me know that you want to hear this information and also keep up to date with what we're about to drop in the future because we're dropping some fire content every single day and you're definitely going to want to be in the loop for what's to come. So without any further ado, let's jump into the phone and uh, you know, let's check it out. All right guys, here we are on my phone. First thing I want to talk about, which a lot of people are confused about, is should they go with a general influencer like a meme page or like men's fashion or something or should they go with a niche influencer? And in my opinion, you should go with the niche influencer 100% of the time, 10 out of 10. The reason why is because like, say you have like a lion t-shirt or something, right? It's much easier to sell that lion t-shirt on a lion page because those people are already interested in lions and you're probably gonna get way more traffic from lion lovers than if you were to sell that lion product on say a meme page that might have like one, five, 10, maybe people that are interested in lions and then you know, you're barely gonna make any sales. So you can use that same like $20 that you'd spend on a meme page or $20 that you'd spend on a normal niche page and you'd probably make back your money or make money on the $20 on a niche page. So how do we actually find these influencers? Well, first of all, you have to have a niche, which we've talked about in previous videos. You can go check them out on the channel if you'd like. Um, but let's just say, say for example, say that you're in the dog niche. Now the dog niche is super oversaturated. People are always talking about it on uh, YouTube, right? But it's super oversaturated. So in my opinion, instead of going for the dog niche, go for something a little bit more sub niche. Something like say a golden retriever, a uh, you know German shepherd, uh, you know husky, something like that, where you can sub niche down, and there's a very very specific audience. So it's not so broad in, in general, right? So how do we go find that? Well, let's say that we're going into the pit bull niche. What I would do is just type in pit bull, because um, that's you know our niche keyword. Hit search. And usually I go to the people tab. You could go to the tags as well and kind of like, you know, search the, the hashtag pitbull and kind of see what's going on. Uh, but I usually like just going to the people and, you know, just pick one of these. So like pitbulls of Instagram, look at that, 1.5 million followers. That's insane. Um, so then what we do, so obviously they have a lot of followers. Usually I like to, when I first start, I like to find influencers with between 100 to 300,000 because you're going to end up paying like $10 to $30 as opposed to like a page like this. You probably end up spending one to two hundred dollars um so when you're just testing products go with the hundred thousand to three hundred thousand because that gives you like the sweet spot of enough people but also kind of a reasonable price um but just for example sake let's take a look at this um so look at that uh thirty nine thousand likes right uh let's just go through a, th a few of these twenty seven thousand twenty thousand uh you know twenty seven thousand so there's a lot of likes on this the engagement's pretty good right the second thing that we want to realize is, is this actual real engagement? So there's a few ways that we can do that. Um, and by the way, the engagement rate that I usually like to go with is uh, between like two to 5%. Ideally, I'd like to have it on the higher end of that, like three to 5%, but um, you know, I'll, I'll take two, especially if it's a page like this, like a 1.5 million. Um, but first of all, let's just see if this engagement is actually real. So I'm going to go to the likes. And basically what I'm looking for here is just to make sure these are real people and not accounts like, you know, say this one that doesn't even have, you know, that has two followers following 288. It's doesn't even have a profile picture, like things like that. It could be real, but chances are it's probably fake. Um, but going through here, that's the only one I've seen so far. Oh, there's another one, Anna Franklin. Um, but yeah, for the most part, these look like real people. The second way I like to do it is look at the comments. If there's a ton of comments, uh, and the comment to actual like ratio is pretty good. I usually go to it and I'll just look through and make sure that it's, it's real comments, like people tagging friends, uh, you know, making legitimate comments about the photo, um, and not just like, wow, cool, awesome, or just like, you know, heart emojis like, like this one here. Um, but stuff like this, where a whole paragraph that she's writing about it. You think they're interested if they're writing a whole paragraph, right? Um, so yeah, so this mostly looks like real engagement, um, you know. But to be super, super sure, what I usually like to do is I like to use a website called Flanks. And this is gonna tell me exactly what the engagement rate is. So what I'll do is I'll actually uh, you know, jump on my computer, type in flanks.com, P-H-L-A-N-X. I'll just leave the link in the description if you wanna go to it. But uh, you know, go to the platform engagement calculator. And here we can just type in the name of the account. So pit bulls of Instagram. Okay, so we'll type in the name of the account and 
Let's see, check that out, 1.98%. That's almost 2%. That's like our sweet spot of where we wanna hit, especially for a page with 1.5 million. That's like really, really good. So if that's the engagement rate, and like I said, most of it looks like it's real based on the research that we did, that's probably pretty good. This would probably be a page I would go for. Not in the beginning, like I said, you wanna go for smaller pages if you have a smaller ad budget. Um, but yeah, this is definitely something that I would go for. The last test, that I like to do is just to make sure that they're legitimate followers, just because I really like testing and you know kind of figuring it out before I jump in and spend money. Because I go to this site called Social Blade, uh, socialblade.com, just go over here, switch it to Instagram, and we're gonna type it in again. So pit goals of Instagram, right? And look at that, B plus rating on Instagram, which is really good. Um, and now this is a little bit, um, this is a good example actually because I can show you this. Um, so see how the, the growth is pretty good and then it has this random little spike. Sometimes you'll see accounts that have like pretty good engagement or whatever, or flat, and then all of a sudden it will spike up like crazy and then kind of, you know, tamper off and then spike off and then, you know, keep going. Usually that means that they bought followers. Um, sometimes with meme pages and stuff, it means that they went viral just, you know, on a certain post and that happens quite a bit. but. Usually it means that they bought followers, so I would usually try to stay away from the accounts that you have those huge spikes, right? Um, but in this occasion, I don't really know what happened here. I thought it was a while ago, July 2015. But as you can see, their engagement was pretty decent, and then it's starting to taper off for the last, you know, almost year. They haven't had a whole lot of growth. Um, and as you can see, they're only averaging about 150 uh, new followers a day. They actually lost a lot of followers there. Um, usually with a page like this, I'd like to see high hundreds to thousands of you know, new likes a day, because that means that it's constantly growing, it's hitting the explore page, all that kind of stuff. Um, but for this, because our engagement's good, because it looks real, I'd probably go for it. Um, but that's just another tool that you can use in, in the arsenal when you're, when you're actually looking this stuff up. Okay, the last thing I wanna show you is how to actually find more similar accounts to the pitbulls of Instagram. So what we can do is actually just hit this little down arrow here, and this will give us more similar accounts that are um, you know, similar to pitbulls of Instagram. Not sure why Beyonce or like Kim Kardashian are in there, but um, like this, pitbull advocate. We can go check that out. And look, 238,000, and they even have an ad on the page. So we can check out the ad. Not super great engagement, um, so that might tell us something about you know, uh, what kind of products to run. But we can go on the actual photos in 5,000, 7,000, uh, you know, 2,500, 3,000. So decent engagement, but we can plug this into the flanks and the social blade and we can actually, you know, get our numbers like I talked about on the other post. And we can do this for a ton of pages. You know, we can keep going through pit bulls, daily pits, 43,000, can go through there. That's a little bit on the smaller side. But basically guys, that's it when it comes to it. Uh, you know, finding influencer pages. What I'd recommend is probably in the beginning, finding at least, at the very bare minimum, like 45 to 50 influencers that are above 50,000, um, because what that's gonna allow you to do, and you know, obviously I have good engagement and stuff, what that's gonna allow you to do is have options when it actually comes to actually, you know, uh, promoting with them and paying them and running posts. Um, and it's also gonna allow you to scale, because if, you know, there's a bunch of pages, but they're only less than 50,000, and there's, you know, not, maybe not that many or something, then it's gonna be much harder to scale in the back end, so maybe you might wanna pick another niche. Um, but yeah, so basically that's all the process that I go through when I'm finding influencers and doing research. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well so you can be notified as soon as we drop that dope content because it's coming out for you guys every single day. I'm trying to get everybody on this channel to over $100 a day, that's the goal and I think it's totally achievable and uh, I believe in you guys. So hit the like, subscribe, comment, leave me a, a message, let me know what you wanna see in the future videos and uh, yeah, we'll make it happen. And I'll see you in the next video. I need you in the morning, oh, oh yeah.